Hi, this is Zach Mead from Zach's Traders Cafe with a look at some bulletin board hero stocks on Monday, the 11th of July. Starting off with advanced oncotherapy and uh, the highlight here, really, the way that we had a weekly close back above uh, that old uh, support from uh, December at 118. While we're above that, we've got a bear trap rebound. We've had a double bear trap rebound given the uh, lows for June and July. To date, uh, this is a falling wedge uh, bullish uh, reversal that the shares are in, so hopefully all we need now is a, a, an end of day close just above this resistance line from uh, the beginning of June to confirm to, at least to the uh, uh, cautious bulls that uh, the shares are on their way. Initial target above, um, let's say 125, uh, would be the 50 day moving average now at 152.91. Uh, stop loss on this really back below uh, 118 on uh, an end of day close basis, so reasonable risk reward point there for that. Uh, on to um, ASA Resource Group and uh, in a mid-move uh, bullish consolidation here either side of the 50-day moving average, uh, break above 0.7 should take us up to towards uh, the one pence zone at the top of this rising trend channel from January. Uh, next up, um, stock which uh, covered quite recently but uh, just made a, a decent push here through the 200-day moving average at 32.47. Above that, uh, heading towards uh, the top of a rising February uh, price channel as high as 45 pence. Initially, over the next uh, few weeks, only back below 30 pence now, former June resistance would really be um, delaying the upside scenario and what looks like quite a decent long term uh, recovery uh, for Conroy shares. Uh, Kibo Mining is next, a perennial favourite for private investors and starting to. Uh, break higher quite nicely. We've had that uh, one day wonder as far as the bear trap back down towards uh, the four pence level below the 200 day moving average at 4.49 pence and right on this uh, the floor of this uh, rising November price channel as well. Uh, the view now though is that uh, while we're above the 10 day moving average area at 5.12 pence the shares should head towards 8 pence at the top of last year's trend channel over the next month or so relatively easily. We had a taste of that for Friday where we uh, spiked towards six and three quarter pence. On to monetize, which has uh, clearly not been one of the great performers of recent times, but uh, starting to bubble up reasonably well now. We've had this uh, uh, decent support area above two pence uh, for June and July. Uh, that's above the old February resistance at two pence. So uh, a decent indicator, positive indicator, as is the break for the RSI back above neutral 50 to leave it at 57. All we're looking for now really is an end of day close above the 50 day moving average at uh, 3.04 pence uh, in order to take the shares up towards uh, the top of this broadening triangle formation from January up to 4.8 pence as soon as the end of next month. Finishing off with the stock which uh, was a, a, deep, a proper prospect uh, a few months back, in fact uh, back in the autumn where we had that double spike through a penny. It's taken a long time to regroup now and we had that gap down through the 50 day moving average in May but uh, looks as though we've got uh, quite a good um, reversal here after that uh, gap to the downside, higher lows generally and uh, we've also closed above uh, the, the floor of the gap again 0 0.22 pence uh, on a weekly close uh, basis as we did last month but uh, on this occasion that also ties in with breaking above the uh, 50 day moving average at 0 0.28 pence above uh, 0 0.25 which is the floor of this rising trend channel uh, from the beginning of the year the target here as high as 0.6 pence uh, especially once we get through the 200 day moving average at 0 0.36 pence uh, but overall with the with a steep RSI uptrend line and uh, the break through the 50 day line it looks like uh, Sovereign Mines is back on its way as a recovery play that's it for me more updates at the same time tomorrow